This video provides an explanation of the QuickBooks Maintenance menu. This is the menu you first see after you log into the service program. If for some reason you don't see this menu, not a problem, simply click the button in the background that says Update QuickBooks. Once you're here, you only ever need to use this menu as you are adding new customers or new line items into QuickBooks or if you make changes to existing customers or existing line items in QuickBooks. This top blue button here, Update the Service, Pro Update the service Program from QuickBooks, is going to bring over any brand new customers and any brand new line items or inventory. These three blue buttons work together. If you only added brand new customers into QuickBooks, then you can do Update Only Customers. If you added only new inventory into QuickBooks or line items, such as service, service charges or even inventory, you use Update Only Inventory. Once again, this top button will do both. Let's say for instance though, one of your customers who already exists in QuickBooks calls and says that they need to update their telephone number. That change must be done in QuickBooks. Same thing if they call for an address change. Any changes to existing customers must happen in QuickBooks. Once you do it there, simply come to this menu under select a specific table, select customers and click reload. This will bring over the changes. This sync does take longer because not only does it only bring over changes, it will also bring over uh, new customers. So it does both new customers and changes. The top blue one, Update Only Customers, is a faster sync because it only looks for new records, while the Reload brings everything over brand new from scratch in QuickBooks. So the Reload option will do both customers, new customers, and existing changes. The same principle applies to your inventory or your line items. If you make a change to an item's description or its price, that must be done in QuickBooks. You would then come over here and click Reload. If you added new items and made changes to existing items, the Reload is the way to go because it will do both, while the Update Only Inventory button here will only do new entries. You have other options here you can choose from or related to how the service program will use this data for creating invoices like chart of accounts, classes, sales rep, sales taxes, um, terms. All of these reloadable options are used, for the, are used by the service program when creating invoices that can go to QuickBooks. You have these three options for uh, importing invoice history, importing payment history, and importing quote history. This will bring this data into the service program um, if you want to have the historical record in the service program prior to your use of our software. If you have any questions, feel free to contact training at westromsoftware.com. Have a good day.